this is one of those videos you will probably never see. A hurricane is about to hit here in Playa del Carmen. And I'm pretty sure that I'm inaudible, but in about six hours, uh, it's gonna hit and everything here has been boarded up from hotels to shops. And it's gonna be a rough one considering how rough it is down here already now, six hours prior to the main event. But just in case that my hotel room window and everything is smashed in at night, I figured I'll make this intro, so at least I have it. And uh, we'll start the video here. So if you're watching this right now, obviously it's gonna be a rough one and I'm gonna have some very interesting hotel room footage because they boarded up my hotel and boarded up every shop in the city in anticipation of this hurricane. So I figured I'll come down here, show you what it is like now before it hits, and then tomorrow, I'll come back down there here again once it has, once it's over, and we'll see what is left of this beach. Jesus, it's gonna be rough. Let's go home and take shelter. This camera is not waterproof or else I'd love to stay and document more as this builds up and, and goes crazy. Police has, has cordoned off here, the beach, you're not supposed to be down here. I know it already looks kind of rough here, but they are in the process of refurbishing and fixing this whole street. So I know it kind of looks here like the hurricane already hit. Now, the first time I heard about this hurricane was at 2.30 today. So, what well, do we have something on the lens? Hold on. It was at 2.30 when I came home here to get ready for the gym. And a maid was just leaving my room and she had rearranged the furniture. I usually sleep on a couch and the couch was along this wall. But when I came into the room, she had put it up against the balcony and she'd also put my bed now I have since moved the bed back but she had put the bed also up against the balcony I asked her why what's happening and she said something called tormento or something like that and I said why why are you doing this you're trying to torment me and it means something like hurricane or whatever in Spanish anyway so it's normally not, not this difficult to go out on a balcony, but let's... Jesus. Hold on, let me see. It's too dark out here. Let me figure out how to turn the light on. Yeah, that helped. Okay, we're good to go. So the thing is that I'm right pretty much on the beach. The beach is just one block over behind that derelict building right there. Uh, well, let's see tomorrow if this if this tree is even here. Also, the reception is right underneath here. The reception, I mean, they've barricaded up this whole town. Every window has been, they put these planks over it. So, I asked the reception when I came. My last swim on the beach was I did, uh, I was able to procure some red wine after I filmed on the beach and I went down there for, for a swim Woo! and uh, I asked him, will I be okay seeing as right underneath me is the reception and you're barricading it up right now, you know, should I move inside the courtyard or something and no, the reception told me you'll be fine, uh, don't worry. But I must say I'm kind of worried. I'm also running low on wine. Uh, so the dilemma is this, do I dive into the, to the, do I dive into the, the federal reserves of things that will kind of amplify what I feel from the wine, <laughs> if you catch my drift, or uh, I don't know, do I ride this one out sober, tough one. The Reservado is a... Uh, it's 
my first hurricane. Anyway, it's another one o'clock. The main, the eye of the storm will be right where I am right now. So, uh, you know, we're at least four hours away from that. So let's save some battery and uh, yeah, I'll see you in an hour or two. Do, 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 do. And we are out. Not sure how this sounds like on camera, but it's getting pretty, pretty wild out there. And we are still, it's only 10 past nine. It's, it says here, I've been reading about this hurricane. Zeta, they named it, is about to strike the mainland just south of Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen is the beach one block away from this. From this balcony, we'll see if it's gonna hold. No way, that tree is going to be here tomorrow. That's for faux shizzle. I just like, like, just let's stand here so I don't get too wet. Just now, I mean, another four hours of this. I mean, it's already so crazy. How strong are the winds going to be four hours from now? In that newspaper article, they are preparing shelters for tourists that need them. They didn't just didn't specify who is going to need them. Is it going to be us that live here on the beach or is it going to be... Don't know. Yeah. So as this thing collapses, it's gonna just, it's gonna wake up full of glass and splinters. Let's finish that wine. I, hold on, let me turn the light, let me, um, I, okay, here we go, the electricity, I just stopped recording, am I filming, hold on, I just stopped recording, and electricity went out, I don't know how this light is on, I guess there's an aggregate, aggregator or something, but let's, let's see what it, uh, it looks like out here in the, in the courtyard it sounds pretty wild and the electricity just went but this light for some reason is on <laughs> Jesus So I guess the, uh, yeah, my electricity now is gone as well, but I still have this light and this light in the, in the courtyard of the hotel. But this is, uh, I've been waiting for this. That's why I've been charging the camera. I've been charging the, uh, the computer and also the phone. So I have, ah, oh, there we go. It's back. Wow, did you just do a little victory song? Mr. Dave Ulfridge, but good for you. There is a rooftop swimming pool here. And when I checked earlier, well, five hours ago, they have not locked it, even though they claim they were going to lock it. So I'm gonna see if it's open, and then we can see the whole city and the beach.
fucked, of course. Jesus. Fifty until it peaks, or actually not until it peaks. That's when it hits. It's gonna last from one o'clock till three o'clock. That's what they said. Convenient just when I was. Oh, there we go, it's back. Funny thing is that I was here a couple of weeks ago, I think about three, and I landed the same day as a hurricane had just passed. I spent a couple of days here. There were a lot of trees that were uh, on the road from the airport down here to Playa del Carmen, and it, it looked like it had been really rough. And I was kind of hoping we could capture something like that on film here today. Uh, but it seems to me it's almost 11 o'clock now and I don't think this is gonna it hasn't been getting any wilder for the past hour I mean it's yeah it's kind of raining inside my room there's a bit of a a pond situation going out on a balcony going on there is some I don't know why it's kind of flooding into the bedroom here but it, it's not it doesn't seem to be picking up steam and I don't think I want to wait two hours just to just to be able to get um, a video out of this I would rather I'm, I think I'm just gonna go for the pass out so when you see this unless this window comes smashing in I guess this is not gonna be a video so fingers crossed that the window kind of will come smashing in and I'll I'll put the camera right here next to the bed so if uh, if something does happen I can press record within seconds. Having my, you know, being covered in trees, so whatever's gonna come through this window. But let's go and let's go and sign off then on the balcony. From how are we gonna do this? My camera's not waterproof. Just like this. Jesus! Hey! Try, hey! Try to sign up here! Okay, so from... Yeah, I guess it is kind of picking up steam. Maybe I should stay awake and keep recording. I think this is a good thumbnail hunt. Hold on, the light's coming from there. From, uh... From Playa del Carmen. Geraldo is signing off. See you next time. This right here is the main walking street on Playa del Carmen. You probably think, wow, that hurricane was strong, but no, they have torn up the whole, the whole, um, the road and they are improving the place. So let's walk down to the beach and see just how strong that hurricane was. I passed out, I'd say around 12 o'clock. So right before it really hit, but uh, hmm, okay. This here was a, a wall when I walked here yesterday. This wall is no longer here. Obviously there was no there was no building there that's been blown away. That wall wall was projecting a um, yeah there's nothing there. I'm very curious to see though if that 
that beach bar is still standing here. Here it is. It looks like part of it is down. It's still standing. Partly. Still kind of windy down here. There used to be more beach here. There used to be... This used to be covered in sand. You could only barely see these um, stones, these rocks. Not too bad. It seems that pretty much everything survived. Oh, here we go. This did not survive. But again, this was not a building. It was just a, a wall protecting what is not a building at all. So these, these things have just been, this whole thing has just collapsed. Oh, it's heavy. I'm just amazed that this bar survived. It's basically a bamboo hut. As you can hear, it's the morning and I hate vlogging in the morning. I have nothing to say. I'm just gonna end this video here. But you're probably gonna ask, am I gonna stick around in Mexico? I was actually on my way to a adventure in a country I've never been to before. But seeing as I am back here in Mexico, the plan was to be here a, a couple of days, but I love it here so much, I might just, I might stick around for a bit. Or, if I soldier on to my destination, I think I'll, I'll be back here shortly after. Because it is the most normal place I have been as of late. I have checked out three other countries since you saw me. But listen, Europe is just a disaster right now. And uh, no, I don't feel like spending any time there whatsoever until things normalize so from Playa del Carmen I'm signing off so I was thinking wow nothing here really sustained any damage at all but I was wrong so this if you see the bar right here these glass panels most of them have been blown away so this whole exterior here used to be um, glass as you can see they're shoveling um, up the glass and dumping it over here so some of them survived some of them did not oh, it looks beautiful Guess now we're signing off. Every bar and shop is busy cleaning up. Most of the signs have survived. It's just a lot of branches and, and crap on the road and that's it. Now this sign, uh, yeah, I would not dare to walk under that one. I assume normally it's not really tilting downwards like that. But okay, the city survived. And that hurricane was hopefully the last of the season.
been a lot of hurricanes this uh, this year. Looks like it also had a had a go at this door. Okay, time for my Bolognese and deadlift records. Well, these trees have seen better days. Oh no, I was gonna come in here for some Coke Zero. No! Blasphemous. <laughs> 